Hello YouTube, 90s boy 1984 here doing a video. Now I did a new video on Reptar Crunch, which I got that yesterday, but I'm just like to do it on a computer wise so you guys can see it more better, more different angle, you know. Here it is. It's sealed. It's actually in this plastic bag that actually has tape on it. Um but so I kept it that way. But this is actually sealed since 1999. Um expired June 23rd, 2000, which is pretty, pretty cool. These would be 99 cents, as you can tell. That's really cheap back in the day than compared to now. So this is pretty cool. A nice thing to add to your Rugrat collection. Um, it was very hard to find this actually because on eBay you can find the empty boxes, but to find it actually sealed with cereal in it, it was just like a totally golden keep, and I had to get it. Um, so and here's the side for one of Ray Reptar. Now a lot of people, and I question myself if it was made for the movie or was it made for one of my reptar. It seems to made about both, cause you know I mean one of my reptar and the Rugrats right movie. You know I mean this came out in 1999, and the VHS of um one of my reptar came out in 1999, and the Rugrats right movie came out in 1998. So it could be possible it could be both. I don't know. So here's the box. It's really nice, really nice condition for its age too. Like I'm very like shocked about that. By Post Kids, so it tells I was nineties. This is really cool. I really love it so much. I think this is one of my favorite um, Rugrat items I have in my collection actually. Um, besides the uh, plush Reptar, because the only ones I have that are really really golden is the the. Um, Cookie Monster, um, Aubrey Monster's, uh, cookie jar behind me, and, uh, this, so it's pretty, pretty cool, but I, you can find this, you can find the cookie jar more better than you can find Reptar Crunch anywhere, um, yeah, this is pretty cool, this is limited edition, um, this was, this was only out for two months, believe it or not, I read about it, it was crazy, August 1st to September, I think, 13th of 1999, so it wasn't out that long where you can get like for a couple months, it's only for one month, which it's actually heartbroken, but yeah, I still remember the taste of it totally. Oh my god, it's just amazing. Um yeah, so it still has its cereal in here, the uh reptar shapes and stuff. I don't know what it looks like. It could have discoloring, it's possible. Um I'm not gonna open it. I really want to, but I'm not because this is something that is worth a lot of money and I really want to keep it sealed but it's really cool you know it's really nice to add your collection i think anything of the 90s is rare enough to actually get a lot of money for it don't have to be like cereal wise or plush wise it could be like anything um but it's pretty pretty cool um i've been shopping i've been looking at uh ebay i got this from ebay so ebay has a lot of cool stuff that you can get very vintage very more that more good ways to get vintage stuff is ebay of course um i've been looking for more Rugrat Adventure stuff, and uh, I was looking at a cookie jar, because I like the cookie jars, and they're pretty cheap, they're pretty cheap, they're like, uh, like, well, like 20 bucks, so they're like really, really cheap compared to the cookie monster, uh, the Opera Monster one, but I got that for my birthday. Um, yeah, that Rift Heart cookie jar, which I might try to get that one next, if I ever have money, uh, my own money, so, um, yeah, this is pretty awesome, I had to get it as soon as I saw it, because this something was going, I had to bid a lot for it, I got this for like 20 bucks. I think 20 bucks, or was it 50? I think I don't know. I forgot the price already. I forget. But um, yeah, this is pretty cool, and I really love it. So I just want to show you guys a better video of this, so you guys can see a way better thing about it. So yeah, right here it says 1995. 1995. So that's Jolly Ventures 1995, and then on top it says you know whatever. On the back, right here, it says 1999. So this is pretty cool. I'm really glad I got this because this is totally my childhood right here. And um, you know, this is pretty cool. I used to have a red tarp plush like that when I was little, so I got more stuff. The cookie jar I never had when I was little. The um, Opera Monsters, so I got that one just to add to the collection for the Opera Monsters. But this one, it's pretty amazing. I really love it. Um. You can look on eBay from time to time and see if there's another box or sealed. I don't know. It's I waited a long time for it to come on, for a sealed one to come on eBay so I could actually buy it. But they have empty boxes, of course, of this. So, I mean, I don't know. I don't know. It was because some of the boxes that are off now, offline, 
Uh, the empty boxes were basically the same price as this, so I might as well have got this instead of um, the empty box, which is pretty cool. But yeah, I mean, and a lot of people you need to remember too, I mean, this is from 1999. Who knows if there's any discoloring in the cereal, it might not look the same as the box. Um, so it's pretty cool, and it seems, you know, it seems like it's not powder, you know, how things are. Um, so yeah, so I just want to show you guys the cool side of this. So Reptar Crunch. Since 1999 sealed, expired June 23rd, 2000. It was 99, 99 cents, which was shocking. But I'm actually shocked because I was like, damn, you know, that's totally vintage. You know, 99 cents for a box of cereal. Now it's like fucking two bucks, you know. So it's pretty cool. So, yeah, so like, comment, subscribe. Just want to show you guys this. Um, hope you guys like it. So, um, yeah, thanks.